Welcome to a series of lessons based on the textbook Unsaturated Soil Mechanics in Engineering Practice by Professors Harry Anto Raharjo, Murray Fredlin, and myself. My name is Dale Fredlin, and I am Professor Emeritus at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, Canada. <clears throat> These lessons are basic in nature, intended to introduce unsaturated soil mechanics at the undergraduate and graduate levels in university. The lessons take on the format of six one-hour talks on unsaturated soil mechanics. The six lessons have the following titles. <clears throat> Lesson number one introduces the subject of unsaturated soil mechanics and shows examples that illustrate practical problems that geotechnical engineers may encounter. Lesson number two presents the fundamentals of state variables and their measurement. This is the starting point for an applied science in soil mechanics. Lesson number three describes the constitutive relationship known as the soil water characteristic curve or the SWCC. It is also sometimes referred to as the water retention curve. Lesson number four deals with water flow through unsaturated soils. Lesson number five deals with the, the theory of shear strength and the solution of related problems. Lesson number six deals with the theory of volume change and some related analytical solutions. There are three parts to each page of the notes. The first part consists of two PowerPoint slides on each page. In this way, there's a reduction in the number of pages involved if the notes are printed out. <clears throat> the second part consists of the PowerPoint slide accompanied by explanatory notes. The third part consists of additional notes and or questions for the reader to ponder. The intent of the, these lessons is to introduce unsaturated soil mechanics within a framework that is consistent with classical soil mechanics for saturated soils. In the process, soil suction is incorporated as an independent variable amenable to measurement and calculation. It must be appreciated that there is a limit to the amount of material that can be covered in a few lessons. Unsaturated soil mechanics will be treated as an extension of the phenomenological continuum mechanics approach that has served so well for the application of saturated soil mechanics since its inception in the 1930s. Unsaturated soil mechanics has emerged in geotechnical engineering as an applied science because the physical processes of seepage, shear strength, and volume change can be described in terms of changes in two independent stress state variables. The elliptical so-called world in this slide illustrates in a simplified way why two independent variables are needed for unsaturated soil mechanics. Simply stated, it can be explained that two stress state variables are required for an unsaturated soil because changes in the total stress variable produce different responses than changes in the pore fluid variable. The remaining lessons will show how classic saturated soil mechanics formulations can be extended to embrace unsaturated soil mechanics. I hope you enjoy the course.